In a nutshell, do we need a god to set it all up so that the Big Bang could... Bang. I have no desire to offend anyone of faith, but I think science has a more compelling explanation than a divine creator. This explanation is made possible because of something strange about the principle of cause and effect. Our everyday experience makes us convinced that everything that happens must be caused by something that occurred earlier in time. So it's natural for us to assume that something, perhaps God, must have caused the universe to come into existence. But when we're talking about the universe as a whole, that isn't necessarily so. Let me explain. Imagine a river flowing down a mountainside. What caused the river? Well, perhaps the rain. Rain that fell earlier in the mountains. But then, what caused the rain? A good answer would be the sun. The sun that shone on the ocean and lifted water vapor up into the sky and made clouds. Okay, so what caused the sun to shine? Well, if we look inside, we see the process known as fusion, in which hydrogen atoms join to form helium, releasing vast quantities of energy in the process. So far, so good. Where does the hydrogen come from? Answer, the Big Bang. But here's the crucial bit. The laws of nature themselves tell us that not only can the universe have popped into existence like a proton and have required nothing in terms of energy, but also that it is possible that nothing caused the Big Bang. Nothing. Stephen Hawking explores Did God Create the Universe? On the premiere of Curiosity, August 7th at 8 on Discovery.